What's good, Desi Squad? It's your girl, Desi, and I'm back with another video. Alright, today is going to be a different type of video. I'm actually right here recording. Why do I look so bright in this face? Anyway, today's going to be a different type of video. Um basically talking I just really wanted to get this message out because I kind of feel like I look really tired but I'm trying to get up close and personal with y'all right quick because I think very misunderstood a lot of times and um usually I wouldn't care I really wouldn't care how misunderstood I am and why people don't understand where I'm coming from sometimes and stuff like that but I'm just gonna say this okay because um it has been a very 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 rough year for me and my marriage and for my family in general and for me it's been a very very rough year for me um seeing me you know having to be pregnant and going through that and then after i'm pregnant going through problems with my my husband it's been very hard like for the past two years it's been extremely hard three years i want to say it's been extremely hard well not even three just two because first year was fine it's just been after that. I just wanted to speak on a certain situation because I haven't really spoke on it like I wanted to, um, especially when everything was going on because it was it was still fresh, it was still hurting, and I didn't want to come and didn't know what to say or come disrespectful or come, you know, not knowing exactly what I wanted to say. So I am glad that I took the time to heal a little bit you know, get my mind off of things, to get myself into where I want to be, to do things for me, you know what I'm saying, so I did have time to do all those things, so me coming now and having to talk about it, pretty much, it's cool for me, you know, <laughs> but I really wanted to talk about a situation that happened when I found, found out my husband was not being um, completely faithful to me and I found out that he was talking to his exes not one but two um or why not now one of them you know he actually did have something going on whatever I don't know and the other one claimed nothing was really going on she don't want him she's not pressed about him she don't blah 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 Ooh, which is fine now I confronted both of these girls alright the first one I've confronted when I did, I found out that they were conversating and stuff like that. And I'm confused because both of these girls, well, at least that one, the first one, I even tried to be friends. And I don't know, I don't know humbug that shit or no lame shit. Just some real, you was his ex, fine. I'm his, you know, I'm his girlfriend now. Now I'm his fiance. Now I'm his wife. So, you know, you've been around for all these things. You've been around for when I was just his girlfriend. He was around but when I came to his fiance. We, I was engaged to this man for quite some time. It went, sorry, the camera, the camera cut off. But what I was saying was the first act, I was engaged to this man for quite some time. I was engaged um, for maybe like what, eight months we were engaged. We were dating for quite some time. So I've been around for quite some time. So but me saying all of that is to say, since you knew, you know what I'm saying, about me, both of you, you know what I mean, and you still entertained him, make you wrong, not just him. And, and I get irritated when we get in these situations where everyone, everybody wants to be, want to have a double standard. Everybody wants you know the man to be blamed for infidelity or they want him to burn to the crisp but no one wants to 
take responsibility for their own actions. Now, you could say all the things you want to say about how you're not, you don't want him, and you were listening to um, him. Okay, first of all, let's back it up because I feel like I'm jumping a gun. I want, I want you guys to really understand why I don't even have an issue, but I want, I want, I want them or her to understand because I feel like she still has some type of agenda against me baby girl I'm, it ain't that serious I'm telling you it's not it's not but since you don't get where you were wrong and you fail to realize you know what I'm saying like what you've done wrong and you want me to just be angry at my husband okay granted but in this case you're wrong both of y'all are wrong period y'all wrong and you should know that nobody wants my husband Nobody wants him. He ain't doing nothing with his life. He ain't got nothing going on. He ain't got this, he ain't got that. He broke, he ugly, blah, blah, blah. But yet, he was still able to get to both of y'all. And y'all his exes. I'm confused. Because I'm confused. Because if it was me and the type of female I am, I'm not entertaining nothing that was behind me. Something I left behind anyway. Especially after I know he got a girlfriend. Baby girl, I didn't edit you on Facebook. I didn't had you on my on my thing. I ain't even joked around with you a couple of times. You feel me? So I never was on that, oh, that's his ex jealous type of shit. I'm not a jealous female. That ain't even me. Okay? I don't have time to be jealous of no female. I have no time to be pressed about no female. I have no time to have this energy or hate against nobody because that ain't me. I generally want to be happy for me. I generally want to be able to live my life and not have to deal with the outside of other people or the drama like I don't, I don't do that that's why I stay in the house which is why maybe my husband was able to come and do this and that but like I said let me back it up because y'all probably don't understand and I'm trying to get this down to a crisp but I feel like it's just wrong for when a man go out and cheat with a female especially exes we're gonna just talk about exes because this is the situation that happened to me and this is what I know what happened okay so, one of the exes, when he claimed, she claimed that they ain't do nothing, she don't want them, blah, blah, blah. You allowed him to come see you, pull up on you, text, and talk badly, talk badly about me to you. Now, what real female, what real female who wasn't trying to be on no funny ass shit, don't listen to her ex talking about his wife in a bad way and then you claim oh I was helping y'all in y'all relationship but baby girl let me tell you this because if you say you his ex you know exactly who that man is or you claim to we didn't have no problems baby girl as far as I'm concerned we didn't have no problems at home we didn't have any problems so you didn't say you're not saving me faith or oh, you not saving or helping my marriage by sitting here chatting with my husband. Especially if he crossing boundaries. But not only him crossing boundaries, you were too. Sister, you sitting here talking about some, oh, I want to be your wife for this and that. He has a wife already, sweetie. And if y'all want to go do that, then let his wife know. Because the wife I am, I will let you have him. I'm not going to backtrack. I'm not going to sit here and talk to my, my ex and about... His wife, this is a man, is a whole, he a whole husband out there. But instead of finding you somebody to play with and chat, chit chat with and, you know, text back and forth and flirt with, you trying to flirt with somebody else's husband. But you see no wrong doing in that. You feel like, oh, we're friends. I'm sorry, sweetheart, because one, you know I deleted you off my Facebook. So if therefore, if I delete you, I deleted you off my Facebook, one, because you kept being saying slick stuff on Facebook low key coming for me like I feel like you want a reaction and you still love this man like come on half of the time those texts were from me you probably don't know that but they were I just want to see where your head was and you definitely love this man still but yet you keep trying to front for Facebook and you trying to front for everybody else acting like well he wanted me and he did this and he did that but sweetie I've seen the text messages I've read them myself now, whether he deleted some of them or not, I still read what you said. And you 
would definitely entertain the bullshit he was sending your way. So you can't sit here and say, well, I don't want him. I ain't this, I ain't that. He this, he that, he ugly, he broke, bye 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 Well, sweetie, he has a wife. Whether he ugly, broke, he ain't got nothing, he ain't doing nothing with his life. He has a wife that is, I mean, <laughs> that I already want. So, I mean, you saying that does nothing for him. You saying that does nothing for me. It does not, it does not make me, what you eat does not make me shit. Definitely honest truth. And that was just the first ex. The other ex. Like, that bitch was side trick, sad chick central. She wanted to be the side chick. She didn't get it. She didn't get it. So I get real upset when people trying to argue with me about my husband and then have the nerve to tell me how he's treating me. And then have the nerve to tell me what I'm not doing within my household. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't get how females can sit there and do that to another female, but you want somebody to come up there and treat you like, the, like a queen. Want you to... You want your man to give you all the attention and nobody else, but you just did the same thing to somebody else. I'm not going to do that to no female because I have way too much integrity within myself. I'm not going to sit here and entertain nobody else's nigga. Period. Whether it was my ex, especially not my ex. One, two, I... Why am I entertaining somebody else's nigga, baby girl? Like, I don't understand. And some of y'all really want to make it seem like I have an issue with you because you're the one that was in the wrong entertaining my husband. Or a lot of people want to say the female, I don't see how sometimes the wife get bashed or get put down the worst after she'd have been cheated on. Like, y'all are the most insensitive people in the world. I could never do that to somebody. Knowing how bad being cheated on hurts, knowing how bad that feels, I would never do that to somebody. One. Two, to sit there and make it seem like I have an issue with you because you're, you created this whole whatever the hell this is, is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Because it, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Am I supposed to... I don't know. I really don't know what what people expect for females who have gone through this to do. Like, what do you expect when you do, like, be your friend? And even after that, we had a conversation via text. And... I already told you what I already had to say. That girl, like, you trying to tell me what he done did and he this and he that. Like, I don't care about none of that. I don't. What I care about, what type of woman you are and what type of woman you showing me you are. For you to sit here and really make it seem like I have an issue with you or I'm pressed or you're, or I make it seem like you're pressed about my marriage is ridiculous. I never care. To be very honest, I never care. Because I can leave everything way up to and be happy okay i could i chose to still stay in my marriage and i didn't do it because i wanted to sing like i won him or you know what i'm saying like that ain't the reason i actually fell in love with my husband okay you were once in love with him yes you dated him in high school y'all were high school sweetheart that's cute right for whatever reason it don't work out i don't i don't care i don't but the minute you saw this man married me, and you still pursued him, I don't care what you say, because I've seen it. You can't lie to me after I didn't see it with my own eyes. I see it if I didn't see it, you know what I mean? If I didn't see it, and I'm just going off his word, but I've seen this shit for myself. I've actually texted you myself just to see what your head was at. He didn't even know. He still probably don't know I texted you from his phone or texted you da 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 It been me, <laughs> them sweet texts and them funny, some of that shit was me. For both of females, it was me. It showed you how much of a I don't give a fuck type of female I am. Because I don't. I want to know what's real. I want to know what's not. Have I ever cheated on my husband? Absolutely not. Because that's the type of female I am. Even, even after all the shit I don't know. I ain't going to do it. Because why? Because I'm married. I actually believe in marriage. I know if I go outside of my marriage and do anything, I know... In the long end, it's gonna come back. Cause that karma a bitch. That karma's a bitch. Period. And 
whether you know it or not, you're gonna get your karma if you're not already getting it now. If you're not already getting it now, I promise you you're gonna get your karma. Not that I wish it on you, not that I, I want you to have karma, I absolutely don't, because that's like I said, I would never want a female to go through what I've been through. Now, I may lash out on Facebook and, you know what I'm saying, people say I put my, my, my life on Facebook and this and that, people are open to their opinions, which uh, you're absolutely right, you are open to your opinions when I post what I post, but what you're not going to do is trying to tell me how to live my life, how am, how am I living my life, because you, you, you truly don't know, you really truly don't know, there's a lot of stuff I've, I've held in for months now, it's a lot of stuff that I've been really wanting to say, but you know, for what? I've been really focusing on being positive, but I just feel like the moment you get the positivity and you feel like you're getting somewhere, the devil always going to try to come back and get you. He's going to try, but you're not going to get me. You're not going to get me. You're not. Because I believe in God, which is why I haven't stepped out on my marriage. Because why? Because I know, I know, it ain't nothing good coming from that. My husband will have to deal with that with other God. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've actually, since I found out all this stuff, I've been recording from that date up until now. So I have, I haven't been doing it consistently, but I have a couple of videos from me when it first happened, um, a couple of weeks after it happened, a month or two after it happened. So what I've been doing is just doing my progress, doing my progress up until where I feel like I'm totally secure with the marriage again. I'm going to be very honest. Am I totally secure? Absolutely not. And who would be? Right? What female would be totally secure after, you know, infidelity? That's normal. And for people to make me feel like I'm less than or I wasn't doing my job as a wife or I, I must have, he must have been happy. That's the first thing he wasn't happy. He wasn't happy. How dare you? How dare you? For you to sit up there and say it's the wife's fault that her husband stepped out and to say that he wasn't happy, baby boy, if you ain't happy, then leave. Say that. Communicate. I'm always up for that. I'm, I'm too real to be treated the way I've been treated. I'm too faithful to be treated the way I've been treated. So I thought. You know what I mean? So I was thinking at the point when I was going through all this, I'm just too good for this. I prayed. When I tell you, I have never prayed consistently since then, up until now. And it's been amazing. When I say I pray for strength, I pray for clarity, I pray for everything I needed to get through, what I need to get through then and now. And I'm not done because I'm still going. I'm still going. I'm still heading somewhere. Am I less focused on my husband and more focused on me? I absolutely am. Which I needed to do anyway. But I definitely believe everything happens for a reason. I do not believe that any of this came for a mistake. I don't. And to be very honest, I'm proud. I'm not scratch proud. I'm happy that it did happen versus me not knowing what I'm dealing with. You know what I mean? So when people try to come to me and tell me stuff about what he's done or this and that and who this is, I don't care because at the end of the day, it's not going to affect me. Now, if you want to come correct and tell me some things, then please do. Please do. I will be open to listen. Definitely will. But it shouldn't be. The only reason why is because females don't respect marriages, but y'all want somebody to marry y'all. It does not work like that. I have never talked to a married man. I have never entertained anybody else's boyfriend. Knowingly. It's different if you not knowing that this dude got a boyfriend, I'm a girlfriend, and you know, y'all ended up talking and you found out you've been a sad chick the whole time. I got a story time for that. Definitely would tell y'all one day. But it happened to me. You know what I'm saying? Right before. So I understand that situation. But for females like two of the exes, y'all knowingly knew about me. And yet y'all still entertain this man madness because you felt like, well, it ain't going right well with her. Well, what can I do? You know what I mean? 
And you couldn't, you could not get this man to leave me alone. Absurd papers and all. And yet, he still ain't went nowhere. Camera back to that. You know what I'm saying? So, I just really just think about how people move nowadays. Because a lot of y'all females move real different. Y'all move real different. Y'all move real different. Like, I would never do some of the stuff that y'all females do and y'all think it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay to entertain anybody else's man just because you feel like you can get him. Where do they do that at? Where's your integrity for yourself? And then you have the audacity to have beef with me because of what you did. It does not make sense. Make it make sense. It just does not make sense. You can hide under a... You can hide and try to act like you've done nothing wrong. But I know the truth and you do too. You can act like I'm not a factor and um, I'm nobody. But uh, we both know I am. Okay. So, I mean, I just really just wanted to get on here and say that. Because I just seen something today. And it was just like, somebody brought it to my attention. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Half of the stuff I knew about y'all anyway is from the people y'all know. But I'm just saying, like, don't act like I'm not who I say I am. Or don't act like I'm the reason. I don't know. I just I just felt it was real. It's crazy how people just got these double standards. They want everybody to blame the man and, you know, fuck him up and, you know, call him on cats of holes and this and that granted which you probably could because you know he's the one married he's the one that made the vows absolutely right but sweetheart didn't you make a vow to yourself self-love you know what i mean don't you have like other stuff to to do or no because i don't get that part i just don't get why would you still act like you've done nothing wrong and then especially act like you have a problem with me after both females apologize now what female you know gonna apologize for some stuff they know they ain't do if they ain't know they ain't do nothing if you know you ain't want this nigga if you know you ain't entertain him if you know you've not done nothing wrong why would you apologize to his wife so cut it cut it with the you didn't do nothing it was I was his friend I was trying to help y'all like cut it with that cut it with the he's lying to you and he don't want to cut it with that because one i don't care two it's my life baby girls it's my life my husband my family let desiree figure it out let desi figure it out not nobody else that's all i'm asking for that just leave me alone like i do not mess with nobody i stay in the crib i stay with my kids i don't mess with nobody i just want people to leave me and my ass alone period like, I don't have to speak about you, speak to you, speak about you, look at you. What, none of that. I don't. I don't be lurking at, like, I lurk when I'm bored. I'll give you that. But I can't. I'm grown. Okay? <laughs> like, I am, I'm grown. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? I right. like, I'm grown. But, you know what I'm saying? I don't work to be petty. None of that. I be bored, that is. But I just wanted to get up here and I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick. Like I just thought that was real funny for the double standards in this world. Like I can't get over the double standards. Like too many double standards in this world. Y'all want everybody to come accustomed to what y'all know. I don't know. Hopefully y'all get it together. Hopefully. Because y'all not gonna keep doing stuff. To people and then expect for them to just lay down and take it because like that don't even make sense y'all want people to divorce their husband because y'all entertain y'all pay the part it takes two it doesn't just it doesn't come with one person because i guarantee you if it was somebody i say i didn't want him doing my life i dated in high school i don't think about him i would have not entertained this man at all for his wife to even be on your case like dead ass like come on like i know that it was a lie saying that you didn't like him this and that because i texted you, you some of them conversations that we had that y'all had was from me 
Like, so you can mess me with the lies. Like, definitely can. And like, they're above people. I want y'all to stop acting like it's the wife's fault for when their husband decides to step out or vice versa. It's not the other person's fault. I don't care what nobody says. It takes a clear, conscious decision to go out there and cheat on somebody. Period. But yes, um, I just want to do a little quick talk with y'all. Um, I'm uploading one video, a Desi, um, a cooking with Desi video real quick. And then I'm going to upload this video. So hopefully I can get this to you today too. But thank y'all for listening to me rent, quick rent. And hopefully I can come back with another video and it won't be so... It wasn't so negative, but it, I just had to get a couple of things off my chest because I refuse to let people think like they're holier without, you know what I mean? Don't down my husband, okay, to uplift yourself. Don't do that because y'all in the same boat. If you want to do that, y'all in the same boat, period. So, thank y'all for watching. See y'all later.